why should you not learn Python in 2021? So this thing keeps happening to me where I find somebody who's interested in learning to code and they say to me, Mark, I'm thinking about learning Python. And then I say, why do you want to learn Python? And then they say, well, it's because it's the world's most popular programming language. It's the most used. And right now it is the number one most popular programming language. But there's a big but here. That does not mean that you should use it. Just because it is widely being used right now does not mean that's something that you should learn. Okay, and there's reasons for this. First off, when the people come to me asking me this thing, they say, I don't know why I'm gonna learn it. I'm just gonna learn it because it's the most popular thing. Well, is that gonna get you a job? Let's talk about jobs for a second. The biggest jobs out there for Python are in data science. So if you do wanna become a data scientist, then Python might be a good choice for you. The other big one is Django and Python. It's a web framework. It allows you to build back end uh, services, uh, like APIs and things. But guess what? If you're a new programmer, no one's gonna hire a junior developer to build back ends. They just don't, no one does. That is not the path you wanna go down just to learn the, the framework Django. There's also so many different APIs and technologies uh, that you can build out there. So you've got two little options here. and then. The reason why it's the most popular is because it's just spread on so many things. Uh, when you go to look at the jobs on Upwork, okay, for instance, we're gonna look at con contract projects. They're all gonna tell you about how they need PHP, they need Python, they need Django, and they, they list like 20 different things. Every single one of those jobs lists 20 different things they want you to know. So yeah, is it being used everywhere? Sure, is it a versatile language that you could just put in any application? Sure it is, but as a new person, as a new developer trying to get into this industry, trying to get a job, it should not be the first thing that you learn because you're not gonna you're not gonna make money with it. You're not gonna get a job with it. And I say this, I tell people this all the time, and they come to me and they say, Well, I think you're wrong, Mark, because it's a good starter language for people to learn. You know, it's a segue in other languages. No, don't learn something just to fiddle around with it. If you wanna fiddle with it, then fine. Ignore this video, go fiddle with Python. If you want a job, if you want to do contract work or actually get a full-time job, then don't learn it. And why? Because there are so many other better starting paths for you. And the key word here is path. Okay. You may say, I want to learn Python because it's the most popular language, but what's the path? Where is that going to take you? And you probably can't figure one out. It doesn't lead to a job unless data science, for instance, uh, or Python Django. But again, Django, no one's going to hire you as a junior Django developer. It just doesn't happen. Uh, and those jobs are very low. Go search for Django, D-J-A-N-G-O. <laughs> Go search for that online and see how many jobs there are. There's not very many jobs. Uh, and so what tends to happen is why it's so popular is because people will use it with the other programming languages. So let's go back to the idea about a path. Here is a really great path for you if you're brand new to development. Learning Swift and iOS. You only have to learn one programming language and it comes right with the iOS framework. So you can start building iPhone apps. Same thing with Kotlin and Android. You're going to learn one thing uh, and you get to build apps with it. So it's a direct path to actually doing something. And if you go on to Upwork or look for full-time jobs, you can find jobs just for Swift and just for Kotlin and Android. Okay, just those two things. That's all you got to know. Whereas if you go on to Upwork and look for a project in Python, they want you to know 10 or 20 different things. Also. JavaScript is something you should absolutely consider. And again, just like Python, don't just learn JavaScript itself. That would be a complete waste of time just to learn JavaScript. You need to have a path. The good news about JavaScript is uh, there are so many uses for it uh, that the paths are very easy. They're very easy to find. And if you go into Upwork, you can actually find projects that are JavaScript only. You know, I need someone to code me this little thing real quick. And you find less of those for Python. And so one great path for JavaScript is a front end web developer. You're going to learn HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and React most likely. If you learn those things, you can get contract projects just a couple months after starting to learn to code. Uh, and you can get a full-time job maybe six, eight, ten months after learning if you get really, really good. So it's a very straightforward path. Okay, and remember though, you're not learning JavaScript. I didn't say forget Python, go learn JavaScript. I said learn HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and React. You gotta know those things, but it's a great path in order to get a job. It's There's no easy jobs for Python. You can't, I don't know anybody who just learned to code on their own and they got their very first job using only Python. I actually don't know one developer who got their first job only using Python. It typically goes like this. Hey Mark, I got this job. And I'm like, okay, what do you do? Well, I'm using JavaScript. I'm using HTML, CSS. Oh, and I'm using Python. There's always the and, and I'm using it. 
okay, it's never just by itself, unless in a lot of cases, data science. So if you want to do data science, you can go down that path. These are some really important things you consider because JavaScript is just as easy to learn as Python. Python is a great language. It's, it's very easy to learn, but don't learn it unless you have a path. I'm a big advocate of not spending any time learning something unless it's on a path. I meet people like this all the time. They're in college. Someone the other day was on one of my live streams and they're like, should I learn C? And I'm like, no, don't learn C. He's like, but they're teaching that to me in college right now. I said, well, it's a waste of time. It's like, well, the teacher says that it's going to build foundations for the future no, for other languages. No, it's not. Go learn JavaScript. That can be your foundation. You don't need a programming language to be the foundation of another programming language. Okay. So when people come to tell me, well, Mark, you should, you should stop saying this because Python's a good starter language just to learn to code. No, don't spend one minute. Let me say this again. Don't spend one minute learning a programming language that isn't going to project you on a career path. Okay. That's not going to help you in what you need. Now, if you are somebody who wants to build some type of application and you know what you want, and for some reason, Python's what you need to do that, fine, go do that. But I don't see any applications that would really need that. You wouldn't come up with an app idea. You'd probably build a website or an iPhone app or Android app. Why learn something that you're not going to necessarily do anything with versus Swift and iOS, you can just build apps, iPhone apps, Android. Uh, so Kotlin and Android, just go build Android apps. Uh, JavaScript, HTML, CSS, you can go build uh, websites. You can build web apps. You can build mobile apps with that. With HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and React, you can do anything. You can create your own startups, your own companies, your own tools and systems. They're really awesome stuff. Now, let's put this in context. I'm not talking to you advanced programmers out there. Okay, if you already are a programmer, sure, go learn Python. I'm talking to all the people who are absolutely brand new, trying to figure things out. If you're somebody who's trying to figure it out, figure out what you want to do, don't learn Python. Learn Swift or iOS, learn Kotlin or Android, or learn HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and React. Now, if you're like, Mark, I hate all those things. I don't want anything that has to do with user interface. Well, you could consider doing back-end development, and you don't even have to learn JavaScript for that, though you can. That's another reason to learn JavaScript. I'll talk about that in a minute. But you could learn back-end development. The problem is there are so few jobs for junior back-end developers. There are very, very few jobs. That's just the way it is. Most of the time, Front end web developers eventually migrate into the back end. Not in all cases, but in sometimes, uh, or most of the time, I mean. You wanna be a back end developer, you don't wanna do anything with user interface, that's fine. You can do that, you're just gonna have, have a harder path. You're gonna have a harder path, and in that case, learn whatever you want. If you, if you wanna learn the Go programming language or some other server side language, you're welcome to do that, but pick your path, that's the point. Pick your path. If you're just gun ho about Python, then learn Python and Django and build your backend APIs. Feel free to do that. It's just very hard to get projects and jobs for that. For those of you who are new though, I, I just laid out some amazing paths for you. Of course, there's so many jobs that are out there. Like, you know, if you, if you wanna get into game development, this whole conversation's pointless because you're not gonna learn JavaScript, Python, or any of that stuff. Go learn C Sharp and Unity or C++, but we're not talking about games. I'm just talking about uh, for learners who wanna get jobs, okay? Don't learn Python, learn Swift or learn Kotlin or learn uh, JavaScript, okay? That, that's the starting point because that's how you get paid. That's how you get your first job. And then guess what? You can learn whatever you want after that. You can go master Python. You can go become a game developer. You can do whatever you want and you'll have the tools under your belt and you'll have gotten paid for it. I'm trying to help you if you're brand new because so many new people, they learn a language and they learn another language and then they learn another language and they never do anything with it and they get confused and frustrated. Whereas the students that we help all the time on our social media and at our company and our program DevSlips Academy, they're all having success because we point them on a specific path. When you have a path, you're able to have so much more success more quickly because there's stepping stones versus just being thrown into the world of programming. Which language do I learn? Which frameworks do I need? What if I want to build a desktop app? Can I use Python? Sure. But can you use it alone? No, you're going to need some user interface frameworks. You're going to have to learn a bunch of things. You're going to be tossed in an ocean of Python hell. Uh, and so, yeah, it's the most use language out there just because it's just scattered everywhere, but there's no path for it. Why should you not learn Python in 2021? It's because there's no path for it if you're a new programmer. If you're a new programmer, use one of the options that I talked about, iOS, Swift, Kotlin, Android, JavaScript, HTML, CSS, React. Uh, you could also learn Angular as well too. Those are all gonna get you jobs and paid projects much quicker than anything else, and they're fairly easy to learn. So that's my best advice to you. Don't go just learning random languages, pick a path, and if you can stick on a path, you'll have results before you know it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you're interested in more, click subscribe to get notified when the new videos come out. This is Mark at devslopes.com. See you later.